fight commentary breakdowns. We have a 16 versus 16 knight LARPing HEMA type match. And this is the Medieval Combat World Championships from IMCF, International Medieval Championship Federation. And here we go. America's, of course, the stars and stripes, or stripes, not stars, and Poland's the red. And it's very, very controlled for now, right? They're testing each other out. This is a very different battle of nations with the 21 versus 21 where they just charged. So it looks like there's a lot more feeling out process. It looks like there's one pole over there that just charged in. This guy, this American came in trying to trying to get the, that black knight on pole inside. So most of them are engaged. There's few Americans in reserve. This guy's pulling him down. Oh! He's taking him down. So basically the way this fight works is the moment you get taken down, you lose. You can't stand back up and fight again. So it's not completely realistic, of course, but hey, you can't kill someone, right? Or you can't hurt them. So... Basically, the point is to get everyone on the opponent's side to be on the ground. It looks like there's a fight over there. Amer an American fighter and a Polish fighter both ended up on the ground. So I think there's two Polish fighters on the ground and one American fighter on the ground. And now it's chaos. Let's see what happens. So if, if you're pinned to the wall over here, I think you're a little safe. You're not going to... Get taken down unless someone takes you down as and does a throw or something or a slam. These weapons are dulled and rounded, so not gonna. Oh, that guy! Oh, he almost pushed him. So we see shields and swords. We see swords. We see axes. We see pole axes. So different range, different length weapons. Oh wow, that's a three on two right there. Uh oh, the black knight's gonna. Is the Black Knight going to get him? No, he, he turned around. Good. Oh, he got the Polish guy down. Good job. Good job. Oh, no. Oh, he took the... Okay. All right. They're both down. Okay. Black Knight's down. How how, do, how are there more Polish people on the battlefield right now? Wait a minute. How, I, I thought the Americans were in the lead. It looks like the Poles are in the lead now. Oh, no. What happened? It's a three-on-three three right there. And over there... Oh no, he's taken down. Uh oh. I think it's a four on three. This is really bad. This is really bad. The Americans are trailing. Headbutt right there. Oh no. Oh man. Four on two now. Four on two. Oh no. It's four on one. America's gone. Come on. You can do it. One, pe one person has fought off four before. You can do it. No, he said screw it. Looks like that Polish guy is getting a warning or something. He is not happy. I think he has a flag. I believe if you do something wrong, first time you get a verbal warning, the second time you get a card. Let's see what's going on. You know, with adrenaline going on, and you're also breathing in a lot of CO2 because the helmets, right? The helmets are blocking a lot of airflow, so a lot of chemicals are in your brain that make you act a little bit more rash. So it's probably a byproduct of that. He also could be on vodka. Okay, I will stop with the <laughs> vodka jokes. <laughs> That's the crowd, full house right there. Look at that. I like how they keep the crowd very much separate from the field so there can't be any brawling going on between players and the crowd. Look at this. Oh, all those beautiful Eastern European women. Actually, what am I talking about? Um, so, yeah, this is, this is not held in the USA, of course. So America does not have home court advantage, unfortunately. So these are some highlights from before. That Black Knight. Why did America have any Black Knights? That guy's got a complete face mask, which is so cool. Look at that. It reminds me of Edward Norton's character in Kingdom of Heaven. He plays a... He wears the, that kind of face mask. Metal face mask. Because he's, got, he's a leaper. If you remember that movie, Orlando Bloom played Sir Balian. It's a great movie, by the way. So, we 
we see some highlights over here. So the American over there in the center comes charging in, but he gets repelled really quickly. So a lot of control in this fight. Look at that. So And then the Black Knight eats a pretty big axe to the head. But then, bam, you see that? They come charging in. Man. You really have to have your teammates' backs in this. It almost makes sense to go two back to back. So you see, they're, they're reinforcing each other, which is really good, but... It almost, you don't want one guy, like that guy's too, the guy in the center's too exposed. The guy in the back should have his back somehow, like be his wingman, like be a little closer to him, just in case he needs to run in. Right, right now, if, if the guy, any of his teammates are in trouble, by the time he gets to them, it could be too late. This is really interesting from a strategy break, break standpoint, how to, how to best maximize your team. You, know, you got 16 people, but it's very easy to be split up. Right? There's a concept where you might be outnumbered, but if you can engage them in a way where you still have the numerical superiority, so you engage them in smaller battles where you have the numerical superiority, then you end up beating an outnumbered opponent. And so the Americans started out, they were in the lead. They, they took down that first Polish guy really quickly, but somehow the Poles came back. And I wonder if it was they, they beat the Americans in smaller skirmishes, but they ended up, the Americans were outnumbered in these smaller skirmishes. So it's a little tactical error that the Americans did. Again, we need to rewatch it, but I think they're going to have another fight. So, okay, so the Americans, it's a four, it's a three on four over there, which is not good. So... So now, now it's five on four over there. So and then so there's there's three three groups. There's a group of five over there, and the mid, the center line of the Americans is a little too far from their flank right here. This is bad. If that center goes and attacks the if the pole center attacks the American flank there, this is bad. You see you see this? Wow. So, it looks like the Poles have a very big concentration over there on that flank. Let's call it their left flank. The Americans' right flank, the Pole left flank. And now, look at this. So, they've committed the center, which is bad. No, this is not good. Yeah, there he goes in. He goes in. No, no, no. It's two on one. This is bad. This is very bad. Ouch, he took a shield. He's done. He's done. Oh no. I think this is when the this is when the tide turns. He's done. Yeah. It it becomes a it becomes a very, very big slaughter now. So Yeah, this is not good. Oh he got he took down the pole too. Good job. But there's a lot more poles on the battlefield. You see, they have men to spare. So, yeah, this is not good. I think the Americans have lost this. We can just tell. Oh, man. Ouch. Hammer fist to the head. And, yeah, the Americans have lost. The poles have won. So... This was a best out of three, it looks like. So the Polish won the first round, and this is the second round. The Americans could have turned the tide back, but it looks like they, they're they gone. Bam. So there's one guy in the center getting chopped. He's done, and there's one more guy over there in the far right. And I don't think he's he's got anything. It's going to be a five-on-one very soon. Hey, like the TFC. Oh, he's that guy's down. Oh, he took down another pole. Good job. So now it's four and one over there. Oh no, never mind. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. 
So, okay, the Poles have won this. Wow, this was epic, man. And they're going to give an award or something. But, okay, guys, let us look right here. Let's, let's watch the slow motion. The moment I saw it, I just knew the Americans overcommitted right here. So, so right there. So, right. So, let's count how many poles there are. Let's go a little closer. So, it's one, two, three, four, five, six poles, right? These are six poles. One, two, three, four, five, six Americans. And then, look here. There's four, Amer there's four poles here in reserve. The Americans are much farther. It's, see, remember what I was saying earlier? I noticed that the, the American center was much farther from their two flanks, which means if they want to go reinforce, they have to run in. When you run in to reinforce, your motion is quicker, so you're not as much aware of your surroundings as these guys were not as far. So they can just kind of walk and engage their surroundings more and be like, okay, who do I take on? So this battle starts... Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, and there are two more people here. So this battle goes, he charges in first, and then this guy comes in here, which is not a not a bad idea. And so this guy charges in. And and look at that. The the problem is there are these two guys here. And where where these guys come? They they Look at that. They're not committing like these guys are committing. So, so it's like the poles come in, and this guy does a good job. He gets checked with the kick, but it just there, there's there was a coordination problem from the Americans. They didn't commit as smoothly as the poles did. Let's watch that again. I'm watching it in half speed. So, see, he, that guy charges in. And they all commit, and but then all these poles are closer to the action. And then where are these two guys? What are they doing? Commit. And this guy comes in, and he doesn't hit him. Hit this guy here. And then this guy's like, oh, okay, I'm going to get him. He gets checked. Ouch, that hurts. And now it's a two-on-one here. So it's just um, maybe it's hesitation. Maybe it's just communication errors. But the Americans committed it may be three ways, and it just didn't work. So interesting. Bam, it engages. This guy, is, he's like the first wave, right? First wave. So this is the first wave. And then... This guy comes in. I guess you can call that the second wave. Bam. Unfortunately, gets checked. And then this guy comes. That guy goes in to reinforce. But, yeah. That was... I mean, I get it. You see, you have to... This flank right here, they're evenly matched right now. This flank... It's very interesting. Keeping the center in reserve. I'm very curious. Anyways... I think this was really fun. This was awesome. This was the Medieval Combat World Championships. This is 2015, Poland versus USA. I thank you guys so much for watching. What do you guys think, man? Is the 15, I'm sorry, not 15, is the 16 on 16 better this way? Or was the Battle of Nations 21 versus 21 better? I definitely see more strategy in this. Compared to 20, 21 versus 21 literally just felt like they just charged in and just hit. Whereas this one, it felt like, okay, they're like, okay, how do we how do we corner people? How do we outnumber people? How do we, et cetera? How do we bait them? Stuff like that. So I like the IMC F more. For those of you who've taken part in this or know more about this, let me know. Tell me what you think, et cetera. Fight commentary breakdowns, out.